We're glad you're with us here for the Retirement Education Hour. I'm Megan Mozak, and we're glad you've tuned in today. We have a great program planned for you. And throughout the program, you're also going to hear about the Retirement Education Foundation and their courses on retirement planning. We want you there. We want you in attendance. We're going to tell you how you can get registered and reserve your spot as you listen throughout the program today. We want to focus specifically on the economy, on what could happen if there is a recession. And we're going to dive into that today with Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. Kirk and Paul, they are financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. And, you know, Kirk, Paul, I almost don't even want to say the R word because I don't want to jinx us or anything. But the fact of the matter is markets do go up and down. Sometimes they really go down. And I want to understand from the two of you, if we're getting close to retirement or we're in retirement, what should we be thinking about? How do we even begin to plan for something like this? Well, I, I think what we want to do in the first segment is we're sort of defining a recession and how frequently and how long they last typically. I, I think we want to make sure that our listeners Remember, for those of you who have been listening for a while, know that we are a national charity. Uh, we've taught over 10,000 people between the ages of or, or within 10 years of retirement through retirement. The charity does some other things around financial literacy for high school students as well. But specifically this show and what we're focusing on with the radio show is those of you within 10 years of retirement through retirement and teaching 10,000 of you with net worths usually between $750,000 and $20 million. So above average baby boomer retirees. And I think you're going to be surprised by the message we share today about being worried about a recession and how you should respond and how you should react and the things you need to do to prepare to, and to manage through retirement, knowing, knowing that we're going to have a major market event or a recession every three to six years throughout your retirement. And I think you're going to be surprised. Stick around for the show because we're not going to talk about safe money strategies, translation, some, someone's selling you an annuity. We're actually going to talk about planning and how do you navigate and manage your income through what's going to be a volatile market throughout your retirement. Hopefully convincing you don't have to change your short-term spending patterns based upon short-term market events if you plan properly, Paul. Can you quickly define a recession and, and the frequency, Paul, for a minute? Sure. So, I mean, I think most people have a sense of what a recession is, but technically a recession is a period of a temporary decline in the economy, um, usually identified by a decrease, a fall in gross domestic product two consecutive quarters. So if basically over a six-month period, what we produce in our economy falls two consecutive quarters, that's technically considered a recession. Um, usually recessions uh, last, I mean, this is on average, about one and a half years. The Great Recession obviously was a little bit longer. I think the most important takeaway is, is that it, you know our economy is a cycle. It doesn't always go up. It doesn't always go down. It's a cycle. And whether we like it or not, no matter who does what, the economy is going to is cyclical. And there are going to be periods during your retirement that we will end up in a recession. And I think it's fair, Kirk, to say that nobody wants their retirement dictated by the economy. Like nobody wants their retirement dictated by what's happening in the stock market or the economy they want you all want to dictate your retirement. You want to be in control of your spending and what you do and where you go, not the economy. And, and why I love this show is because this is about ga getting control. This is about all of you getting control of your retirement rather than let external forces control your retirement. We want you to be in the driver's seat. And we're going to talk about all the things you need to do to make sure you stay in the driver's seat if there's a recession. And there will be, right? There's going to be, on average, the average business cycle is about four to five years. We're well overdue, and it's going to happen whether we like it or not. So, again, to learn more, to attend an eight-hour course that we teach at major universities in your areas, over 10,000 of you we've taught – you can register for one of our courses at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. So, Kirk, we talk about control a lot. Like, we talk a lot about, you know, the importance of taking back 
your retirement, right? So many people we meet in our classes feel like they are not in the driver's seat. You know, they feel like all these external forces are driving what they do. It, you see that a lot, right? You, you, the, the, the importance of you deciding what you spend and how much you spend, not fear. And there's so much fear that we see in retirement with people. Yeah, no, you're right. I think so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how do you regain that control and some of the ways to regain the control. But more importantly, I want to make sure we spend some time on some of the ways the financial service industry actually uses your fear, your anxiety around recessions to uh, sell you products, often annuities, to convince you that you shouldn't be in the markets, that you don't need to be aggressive in the market or to be too conservative in the market, or probably even worse, they're going to tell you you need to reduce your spending during difficult times in market, poor market conditions. These are all, or, or just live on 3 or 4% withdrawal rates. In other words, work longer, spend less, and when things go bad, spend less. These are all inaccurate answers to a solvable problem and there is, but 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 I want to make sure our 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 listeners understand with the motivation why the majority of the financial service industry does not want to resolve a resolvable issue. There really isn't an incentive for them, Paul. Right? I mean, at the end of the day, please remember, and anyone who regularly listens to us knows this: the less of your money you you spend, the less money you spend in retirement, the more money the people helping you makes. They are directly benefiting from you having fear, you having anxiety, you sell, buying insurance products to protect you. They are benefited by the less you spend, the more they make. And at the core of our course and the core of our charity after teaching 10,000 people over the last decade is we're trying to help you to identify the right people to help you, the right teams to hire, so that you can have that freedom in retirement. In the class, you're going to learn how to know if the people that are helping you have the right type of pivot accounts, the right type of accounts for different market conditions so that you can continue to spend your money no matter what that short-term market event is. So if you'd like to register for one of our eight-hour classes, all you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Please go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Thanks for listening to the Retirement Education Hour. Be sure to follow or subscribe when listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And now back to the show. We've been talking today with Kirk and Paul about recessions and what a recession could potentially do for someone who wants to retire and, most importantly, wants to stay retired. So, Kirk and Paul, talking about the fact that a major market event could happen anywhere between three and six times, right, over the course of a retirement, a lifetime. How do we stay in control here? How do we make sure that we can have the same type of spending latitude, the same type of spending capability, and not change that even if we see this type of event? Well, I think that's the core of the eight-hour class is to teach you knowing that we're going to have these events. First, we're going to teach you that nobody, nobody can predict those events. Nobody can consistently predict those events. So anyone that's trying to stock pick market time their way around major market events like recessions, which we are like significantly overdue for, nobody has that ability. So that's the first thing we'll teach you, right? The second thing we're going to teach you is what type of uh, – how do you bucket your accounts and have levers that you can pull – depending on the market conditions to take your income from. And we're going to talk about that later today. It's, it's, it's called managing sequence of returns risk. It's having these different levers, right, um, is going to help you to be able to sustain your income no matter what the market conditions are. You should not reduce your spending. You don't need to 
if you have a good, solid retirement plan. The problem is most of you don't. Most of you don't know that you don't. You don't feel comfortable. So no matter what, and you're intentionally not being taught to feel comfortable because, again, the more fear you have, the less you'll spend, the more the financial service industry makes. So it starts, it all starts by understanding a Warren Buffett quote, really. Warren Buffett has a gr- many great quotes. One of the great quotes he has is you have to be insane to risk what you have for something you don't need. And I'll translate this. And how is it applicable to you? If you have what you need to give you what you want, that needs to be reflected in your retirement plan. Now, I want to be careful because I know insurance salespeople – People on the radio and TV are going to try to sell you these safe money strategies and sell you annuities. I am not suggesting that you should not be invested in the market. Not in, not even close to suggesting that. I'm going to, we'll teach in the class that you actually should be very aggressively invested in the market for a portion of your money. You just have to know where to take the, so you're going to have different levels of, of, uh, risk in your portfolios and properly to be able to not change your lifestyle during market conditions, you're going to have to go to the right the risk profiles to pull your money from when we have major market events. But you first, Paul, right? You first begin by understanding what do I need to give me what I want? So how much do I really need is the first point. What do I want in retirement? And you need to find the right team that can tell you, do you have what you need to give you what you want right now? And my answer to that is the majority of you have no clue. And so you're making mistakes everywhere. You know, I, I mean, I, this, the, the phrase, what do I need to get what I want? If I can slightly, uh, so I think what you're basically saying is, okay, how much do you really, what do you want to spend in retirement and how do you get there, right? That's, that's the key. I think the, the thing that people don't understand intuitively, and I hope we have time today, maybe we won't. At the end of the day, that is so imperative to figure out and so often gotten wrong. And it's very impactful if you get it wrong, because at the end of the day, how you ultimately allocate your money, how you, how much risk you're exposed to, where, where you invest your money and, and how much risk you, you, you take investing it is driven by that number. If you get that number wrong, it changes everything. So you have to start with knowing how much do you want in retirement? And most people, Kirk say, you know what? You know, they do their sort of bottom up budget. And, you know, they, 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 they make two hundred thousand dollars, but they say they only spend 60 yeah, because right. when they go to right, they, they look at their bills, and say, well, I got my mortgage. I got my utilities. I spend 60,000. No, that's not what you're spending. And if you get it wrong, it's going to be impactful. You have to know that number. So, so Paul and I are coming from two different angles and he's 100 percent right. I'm more concerned that. Many of you already have all of the assets you need to give you the retirement you want, but you don't know it. And there's no incentive for anyone in the business to tell you you have enough because there's no incentive. They're going to say you're fine. Oh, look at the probability of success. You're in the green. There's only a, you have an 80% chance of not outliving your money. None of that feels good, and therefore you're going to keep working. Your fear is going to drive you. So here's the thing, Paul. It, it comes down to a cost-benefit analysis. It's not a general rule. Look, most of our listeners are not the average baby boomer. The average baby boomer has $200,000 saved for retirement. 40% of baby boomers only have Social Security for retirement. You with a million to 20 million are not average. And as a result, everything should be based upon a cost-benefit analysis. What do I need to give me what I want? And if I continue to take more risk now and we have a market event, does that impact my lifestyle? How do I know how to invest my money without knowing when I'm going to retire and what do I need to give me what I want? And you guys don't have that answer. That's why the class is eight hours. That's why it's like a master's level course. That's why it's taught in universities. That's why we've been doing it over a decade. We know the mistakes you're making. Just trust that the charity can help you find the right people to help you by giving you the knowledge to give you that confidence to make that decision. So if you'd like to attend, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Listening from outside Michigan or Missouri? 
We stream courses live from the university so you can attend anywhere in the country. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org to sign up. And now back to the show. We've been talking today about recessions, how they can impact your retirement, your plans for retirement. Kirk and Paul say, though, that with proper planning, they do not have to wreck your retirement, which is great, great news. But you have to understand risk and how to manage risk. And one of those things is making sure you have your account set up properly uh, and not all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. I want to talk about a complex term, Kirk and Paul. It's called sequence of return risk, but this is really something that could affect all of us. We've got to be we've got to be careful with it. Tell us more about it. Well, I think this is this is the secret to uh, having the retire the freedom in retirement you're looking for. No one can predict when we're going to have these major market events. We just know, on average, historically speaking, we're going to have a major market event three to six times throughout your. 20, 30 year retirement, maybe 40 year if you're lucky retirement. So how do we manage those major market events without being forced to change our spending patterns, which by the way, is what most of the financial services industry would have you do. The answer by most people in our industry is going to sell you annuities that has some safety net for income. If you need it, you should know only about 20, 25% of those annuities ever get used for income. So you've wasted your money by buying that. That's a show in itself. So it that isn't the answer. The other answer isn't being overly conservative. The other answer isn't someone can stock pick or market time and predict when we're going to have these mar- major market events. The answer is managing sequence of returns risk. Now, the problem with this is it is very labor intensive. It's not a scalable plan. So for people in the financial service business to be able to provide this service, can't do it on a large scale because to do it effectively, you have to have several different buckets of money with different risk profiles. In other words, some are going to be a hundred percent equities. Those dollars we're not intending to touch for 10 or more years. There's going to be some that right now we might just ladder corporate bonds or treasury bonds or muni bonds where you're going to take your income from over the next five years. Some might say a fixed annuity that you can create an income stream from in the first five years if you needed to create an income stream. I'm not giving you the product answers because no one should ever sell you an investment or a product without a plan. The plan will drive what investments you need to have to be able to manage these sequence of returns events. So the answer is long-winded, trying to do it very quickly here, is that you have to have pivot accounts. So when we have a major market event, you have to have an account that you can pivot to to take your income from and suspend taking money out of any of your risk buckets, any of your aggressive buckets. And then when the market is up, we can take money from our more aggressive accounts to take our income from. In other words, we never want to be forced to sell and take money out of an account when that account is down. The same thing applies, Paul, and I know I've dominated this segment. I might take the whole thing. I apologize if I do. The same thing applies to rebalancing your portfolios. You should not be rebalancing your portfolios in retirement when the markets are down. You should only be rebalancing your portfolios when the market is flat or up or your account has recovered. This is very unusual. This is very labor intensive. Very few advisors will talk about this. But this is how you manage the sequence of returns risk. Now, here's here's the reward for those people who figure this out and do it properly and find the right people to help you do this. The reward is, is that you can have withdraw, you can have income of six, seven, eight, maybe nine percent withdrawal rates. It's not the returns that you should be focused on. If you focused on taking income from the right accounts, you will generate a better real return instead of an average return because you're going to rebalance and pull money out of accounts 
only when the market is up, never when the market's down. Very complicated. I took the whole segment, Paul. I'll make sure you get most of the next segment. But here's the deal. This is difficult. This is why the class is eight hours in length. If you want to be able to spend more freely, spend more aggressively in retirement, and not worry about outliving your money, you have to find the right teams that are doing this kind of planning. And none of your list, our listeners right now know how to do this kind of planning. That's why the class is eight hours. That's why the charity provides it. And all we ask you to do is make a $29 donation to charity for you to be able to attend this eight-hour course that are being taught at most of your univer- local universities. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Classes are forming now. Go to retirementplanningedu.org to register. Again, that's retirementplanningedu.org. Use the promo code PODCAST to receive 50% off your tuition. And now, back to the show. Today, we're focused on recessions. How does a recession potentially affect a retirement? And how can you plan so that it can't negatively affect your retirement? That's the most important part. And as we've been talking about risk, you know, I had to point out, Kirk and Paul, we are human. Panic sometimes sets in here, right? When we see things really going south. But you say you got to push panic to the side. This is where having that experienced advisor comes into play. Why should we not panic? And how should we be thinking about the market when things seem unsettled? So I would say, and to correct one thing you said, you were right. This is where having a seasoned advisor to help you. Uh, The problem, and you know, to our listeners, please appreciate, we take a brunt of negativity from people in the financial service industry because we're, as a charity, trying to be transparent to teach you guys to, to not be taken advantage of, manipulated, and or to not allow them to look at you as a, just a dollar sign. You are not there for them just to make you money. They really should be there to provide a service. And if they're providing the right service, and by the way, that's what we do in the class is that the last part of that eight-hour class is how do you choose an advisor? How do you do background checks? How do they get paid? What specific questions should I be asking? What specific things should I be looking for in an advisor to know if they are actually doing real retirement plan or not? And here's one of those areas right here is that who it doesn't matter if we have a recession when you're in retirement in fact, you, sh- you are less impacted in retirement if there's a recession. You don't have a potential loss of job. You have your money. If you have properly designed a retirement plan, we are going to have recessions. You can't avoid them. They're going to happen three to six times throughout retirement. So what? It's another short-term market event. That's all it is. Even if it's a long term, even if we lose a decade, if you have the appropriate plan and you have the appropriate income planning, then it won't make a difference. But the problem is because of fear and anxiety of outliving our money, because you haven't found the right teams that have given you the confidence that you don't have to change your spending patterns. They're going to try to convince you that you should try to time the market, reduce your spending. Look, What we know is the best days in the market are after the worst days in the market. Historically speaking, the best days in the market are after the worst days. We also know that as retirees, you all panic. We know 65% of you who were retired in 2008 during the financial crisis panicked and went to cash. We know that 35% of baby boomers during covid March of 2019, you panicked and went to cash. So how you should not be changing your investments. You simply just change where you take your income from. You should still have aggressive growth portfolios. You should have moderate portfolios. You should have very conservative portfolios. You should have pivot accounts. And you should just change where you're taking your income from and change when you're rebalancing your portfolios based upon market conditions, not where you invest your money or getting in and out, Paul. Yes, uh, it, uh, two points I want to quickly make. And you, you, you were, I thought you were going to go there and you, you stopped short for a second. If I could just add one thing. 
people think they can go in and out of the market. People think, you know, God, the market's down. I'm going to go out. I'm going to come back in. One huge statistic. You missed the best 10 days of the market between 1994 and 2023. You missed the best 10 days. Your returns are cut in half. What does that mean? If you had a $10,000 investment in 1994 and you missed the best 10 days, you went from having $180,000 to $80,000. We're not talking about a few dollars. We're talking about a lot of money. And, and if I can say, Megan, you said something in the beginning about the importance of getting a seasoned advisor. The solution to what we're talking about, I hate to say it, really doesn't necessarily come with getting a seasoned advisor. I'm not putting anyone down, but you can be, there's a lot of seasoned advisors that know nothing about what they're doing. And there's some advisors who have been doing this a shorter period of time who know more about what they're doing. Seasoned advisors don't necessarily protect you. The best protection is education. 100%. You guys don't even know who to look for. We're not saying not an advisor. It's you definitely need, you're going to need a team as you age. You, you, all of you need to have a team as you age. It's finding the right teams. That's the purpose of the charity. That's the purpose of the eight-hour class. So you are informed, educated, to Paul's point, educated to be able to find those teams, the right teams to give you this retirement. Not to go in and out of the market, not to pay. To Paul's point, let me give you another crazy statistic. Here's the deal. You can't just choose the top five companies of the S&P 500 right now and say, that's what I'm going to retire with. If you did that in 2000, you have a negative return today. Negative return. If you took a million dollars and just left it in the S&P 500 over the last 20 years, you'd have six and a half million dollars today. So you see, if you're retiring, think about it. If you're retiring with three million dollars, right now we put a million dollars in the S&P 500. That million dollars is going to be worth, I, I mean, I'm not going to predict, but 20 years from now, three, five, six million dollars. So you have different buckets of money for different segments of your life, and you pull money out of those different buckets depending on market conditions. Income timing, not investment timing. It's a different strategy. Very few people talk about it. Come to our eight-hour class. We're going to teach it to you so you can find the right teams. To register for one of our classes, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. To find our latest white papers and webinars, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And remember to subscribe or follow wherever you listen to your podcasts. And now back to the show. I want to get back to this conversation we're having about recessions and retirement, Kirk and Paul. And as we talk about that, we have to talk about a huge risk that sometimes isn't seen as a risk, and that is taxation. How can we control this in the midst of a recession to try to give us a, you know, a, better, a better outlook, a better, more spending power, so to speak, in retirement? No, I, actually, it's perfect the way you said that, because I'm assuming people are listening, wondering, well, what does tax planning have to do with a recession or managing risk of a recession in retirement or any of the above. And it, it really does. I mean, there is taxes has such an implication on your retirement. It is the second largest expense for most people is paying taxes. And what's interesting for most baby boomers today is it is very likely your taxes are going to continue to go up from here because historically speaking, and I'm not making a political statement, we are charity. I don't want I don't want anyone upset with us from a political perspective, but I'm going to speak of fact. Historically speaking, taxes are low right now, very low historically. In fact, the average marginal tax rate historically in the U.S. is about 56%. And we are significantly below that. And we know that the 2017 tax cuts that we have been experiencing the last several years are likely to expire. Now, what will it look like after? We don't know. I would anticipate they will sunset to back, at least back to what they were prior to 2017, which means all of our taxes are going up. The 12% bracket becomes 15. The 22% bracket becomes 25. All of us will see tax increases. And as we age, 
especially for that one to $20 million family, one of the real misunderstandings are that you are going to pay less taxes once you retire. For many of you, once you get in your 70s and you start being forced to take all of those dollars out of your retirement accounts to live on, your taxes are going to be similar or higher than you were even when you were working. So knowing those things, such a big part of our course, Paul, is around how do you minimize taxes. And by minimizing taxes, understanding how to fill brackets, but not bump brackets, when and how to Roth convert, not just Roth converting because we want to, but running hundreds of iterations to figure out the least amount of taxes over a 25-year retirement, and then working backwards to make the decisions to take the income or Roth converter, all of those things. I mean, it's comprehensive. That's why it's an eight-hour class. But the general concept, Paul, is the less money you have to take out of your investments to live because you, that's the, the less impact market volatility will have on your portfolio. This is sequence of returns risk. That means the longer your money will last and the less you have to adjust during times of recession or have fear for recession because you can save hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes just by taking income from the right accounts at the right times. I know that's difficult for people to believe, Paul, but that's what we teach in the eight-hour class, how to do that. It is. And, you know, at the end of the day, this show is really all about, and our class is all about, how do you gain control of your retirement during external events that you have no control over? Right. That's really what this class, what our class in the show is preach, about. Right, Paul. Right? Preach. Right? Is that, That's is awesome. That, is it, true. Right. And at the it's end 100%. of the day, when you think about the the levers you have that really will get you more control, taxes may be one of those. Because if you can pay less taxes and you can control how much taxes you pay in the future because of some good tax planning, you have more money in your pocket. Your money lasts longer. It's it's obviously a win win, and that's the best way to take back your retirement under crazy market conditions. You said it. It's the best way to take back control. It is. It is. And it's ignored by, well, I will say everyone on radio and TV today is now in the financial service industry is talking about tax planning, right? Not the uh, very topic, few of them. Isn't it? it is a hot topic because it's easy to sell things. Oh, I've got this new software that does a Roth conversion analysis. And so therefore do this and buy an annuity and put all your money in here and have it go to taxes and then Roth convert your fidelity. It's, <laughs> Not great. very few Sounds of great. them. I know very few of them have CF, uh, uh, CPAs on staff. Like you know, we have a CPA that is an instructor for our charity that's teaching you these strategies. Your CPAs won't do this because they're not projecting twenty five, thirty. There's very few people in our business really doing comprehensive tax planning, but they're all selling they are. So that's the purpose of the class, to educate you to know, are they really helping you pull this really important lever to take back control, or are they just trying to sell you something? So attend one of our eight-hour courses. Make a $29 donation to charity to attend. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Thanks for listening to the Retirement Education Hour. Be sure to follow or subscribe when listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And now back to the show. I want to go back to our topic, recession and retirement. And there is something crucial you say that we all need to be doing, no matter what happens in the way of a recession in the future. What is that, Kirk and Paul? So I want to give this caveat when I make this comment, because some people might get offended, and I'm not intending to offend anyone. I'm, I'm intending to target most of our listeners. So there are going to be some, we can't cover everybody, but this statement applies to most of the listeners and most of the people who attend our courses. And those people typically have over 500000 over $700,000 saved for retirement, all the way up to usually about $20 million. So for those people, the truth is recessions are not something you need to fear or worry about in retirement if you have the right team and the right type of plan. It's just a fact. We will convince you that after eight hours of the class, you will have so much less anxiety about 
short-term market events. And a recession is a typically a short-term market event. Yes, we've had some long ones, but on average, they are short-term markets that don't impact a retiree if planned properly. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't impact retirees. It impacts many, many, many retirees because they haven't planned properly. It impacts them emotionally. It impacts their spending patterns. It impacts their decisions. It shouldn't. It doesn't need to. Through proper planning and having the right teams helping you. The people who should be impacted and fearful of recessions are people who are working, who are going to lose their job, who hasn't saved enough for retirement, and who isn't retired. But for you that are retired, as long as you have the appropriate income plan, income plan meaning we're going to pivot where we take our income from during different market conditions. When the market's up, we're going to take it from a certain account. When it's down, we're taking it from another account. When it's even or level, we're going to take it from a different account. This is the knowledge that you will gain in the class. You'll have the knowledge of what a real retirement plan should look like, all the different type of levers that should be included in that plan. And then most importantly, after you now know what to look for, you'll know how to interview and find the right teams to help you. We're going to teach you how do they get paid? How are they licensed? We're going to teach you some of the, you know, sneaky stuff like the next 10 callers get a free roadmap to retirement. Run from those people. Those people are insurance salespeople. The next five callers get a Roth conversion or a social security analyzer. Those are salespeople. We're going to teach you the specific questions to ask, what credentials they should have, how they get paid, what disclosures to look for when you're doing background checks, and then you'll understand what a plan is and what the levers are, and no one can pretend to be doing things for you. You'll know if they're doing them for you, Paul. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. And and I think we're, we're talking about not just financially, not just finding the right team and getting enough knowledge so that financially you can navigate through turbulence like recessions, but it's also psychological, right? At the end of the day, we only get to retire once and you want to make sure that you are enjoying it. And not only financially is it important to take back control, but it's important emotionally. You, you know, when there's a market recession, the last thing you want to do is change your life. You don't want to cancel that trip. You don't want to stop hanging, doing things with your grandchildren. You want to enjoy your life. So part of this is about how do you make sure the quality of your life continues in retirement regardless of what's happening around you. And so many people. We meet a lot of people in these classes, and so many people that we meet are not doing that. They're not enjoying their retirement. They're worried. They're frustrated. They see markets go up. They see markets go down. Recessions come and go, and their life is dictated by these forces they have no control over. You don't want your life controlled by forces outside of you, and the best way to gain control of that is to come to a class, become knowledgeable, learn the things you need to learn, and find the right team. Paul, I love the way you said that. It's eight hours of your life. You've spent 30, 40 years to accumulate the wealth you have. And you've done a great job. Most of you listening, $1 to $20 million families have done a great job. But there is a gap in the financial service industry for you families, $1 to $20 million. I'm telling you there is. And just remember this as we sign away today. The less you spend, the more your advisors in the financial service industry makes. Come to the class so you can find the right team, so you can spend six, seven, eight, nine percent withdrawal rates and not worry about market events. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Hope to see you. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. Retirement Education Foundation is a fiscally sponsored program of United Charitable, a registered 501c3 public charity. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual's situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. 
The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is paid for by the Retirement Education Foundation.